Hello everyone, welcome to Travel Range with another vlog from Paris, France. Now if you haven't watched our previous episode from Paris, please click on the link popping up in the right corner. Now for this video, our first pick for things to do in Paris is Number 1. Montmartre Sacré-Cœur, the Basilica of the Sacred Heart of Paris, is located in Montmartre at the highest point in Paris. It rises 82 meters tall and construction began in 1875. At the front, you'll discover two sculptures. They are of course paying homage to King St. Louis and St. Joan of Arc. This is a lovely location. It's simply a view out there. Of course, there are a lot of visitors, but this is Paris, so it's nearly inescapable. This would also be an excellent location for a sunset picnic. If you're a clever traveler, go to a boulangerie and acquire some bread, wine, and cheese before returning here for the greatest views in town. There have been many notable painters that have lived in this area. Among them are Monet, Renoir, Toulouse-Lautrec, and even Picasso. You'll adore this neighborhood since it has a great, calm, friendly feel. If you really want to appreciate it, simply pull up a seat at one of the cafes around. Have some coffee, beer, or anything you like. Number 2. Creatures If you're like me and enjoy rooftop vistas, then the top of galleries of Lafayette is the place to be. However, if it's a hot day, we don't advocate sitting outdoors. If you are fortunate enough to catch up on a sunny day, there is nothing better than sitting outside on the terrace. The views are just unrivaled. Pull up a chair, get some delicious French food, and enjoy the beautiful weather. Number 3. Eiffel Tower Who hasn't heard of this magnificent tower? A symbol of love where couples frequently propose to each other, and where lovebirds sit together and sing the song of their future lives. The incredible Eiffel Tower! I strongly advise you to take a guided tour here to avoid the huge lineups and hassles that may be found in this region, and have fun on the Iron Lady's ride. The vistas from the summit will wow you! <music> However, if you have children or family with you, or if you have back pain, it would be preferable to struggle downstairs in the lineups. Tickets to the Eiffel Tower now range from 10 to 26 euros, depending on the floor and level of access desired. You must be exhausted after the journey. You deserve a decent dinner. Enjoy a delicious lunch at one of the thousands of eateries around. Number 4. Rue Cremieux Your next visit should be at Rue Cremieux, which is well known for its brilliantly colored home fronts. You may have seen some beautiful photographs of this Parisian neighborhood on the internet. It's an absolutely stunning location for photographs. It's a lovely place to wander around in. While strolling about here, remember to be courteous to the inhabitants and people that live there. Number 5. Atelier de Lumières Atelier de Lumières is an immersive art show, which means that they bring artworks to life. And I truly knew that. It's amazing. It's not simply photographs of the artworks splattered on the walls. They've been disassembled and trimmed down. 
replaced music and some have been animated. And that's wonderful. I'm sure you've never experienced anything like that. It's a really intimate place where you just kind of take a seat or sit on the floor and they display everything around you. It's really immersive, enjoyable, and gorgeous. If it's a hot day outside, that's a great place to be. Number 6. Fet Leger Cemetery This is not just Paris' largest cemetery, but also one of the most famous in the world. It is located in Paris' 20th district. It draws hundreds of thousands of tourists from all over the world to various people's graves. It also contains three World War I memorials. Back in 1765, the law prohibited the establishment of cemeteries in town, but Napoleon Bonaparte decided that every citizen, regardless of race or religion, had the right to be buried. Jim Morrison, Jean Moula, Oscar Wilde, and many others are buried at this cemetery. Number 7. Grand Palace the Grand Palace is located directly across from the Petit Palace and is one of the most stunning structures in the entire nation. It also serves as a venue for numerous prominent trade shows, art fairs, sporting events, and cultural events in Paris. The Pont Alexandre III and Avenue Winston Churchill are part of this Grand Palace. After touring this palace, you will be persuaded of the nation's intellectual and cultural importance. Number 8. Meal at Soya Canteen Bayern In Paris, there is no shortage of cafes, bistros, restaurants, and other delectable dining establishments. I found some fantastic images of tourists visiting this location, as well as outstanding restaurant reviews after scrolling down on the internet. So give it a shot if you're looking for something unusual and some delicious vegetables. Order some soya balls, curry, and grilled vegetables with rice. The cuisine will astound you. Some tips. Paris is constantly crowded with tourists. So if you want to avoid long lineups at every tourist spot, I highly recommend taking a guided tour. Make sure you purchase your tickets in advance. Have some sunblock on hand. Bring lots of water and wear comfortable shoes. More essential, plan your tour ahead of time. However, we are doing our best to assist you with planning and other important recommendations via this short video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and click the like button. So there you have it, folks. That's all from Paris, and we'll see you at our next stop.